Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarecrow for here bringing you another Minecraft construction vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Caterpillar 416 Backhoe. The Backhoe is one of the most commonly used construction vehicles out there. It has a front kind of bucket scoop, very similar to that of the front end loader, and it has a rear excavation arm that is very similar to that of an excavator, um, both kind of more on a smaller scale. It's very useful and a very versatile vehicle that really you're going to see on any construction site you will pretty much ever come across. Uh, it's one of those vehicles that's just always present and always has a use in those um, environments. Uh, but a really cool build in our second construction vehicle in the recent weeks and a lot of you guys did like the last tutorial I did for the front end loader so I'm happy to return back with some more construction vehicles and we'll hopefully see some more and more um, get built uh, over the course of the next few weeks and months. Uh, but with that though, let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at the Caterpillar 416 backhoe. So getting started with it, we have the front bucket here of the vehicle, really nothing too fancy about it. Pretty simplistic, we have the arms and all the hydraulics lead into it um, around the kind of engine housing right here. So pretty cool stuff. Then going back, we have the cab, so it's where the operator would be. And obviously you have your wheels, so larger wheel on the back small wheel there in the front. Um, we then have the stabilizers, so these will actually drop down and help stabilize the vehicle when it does begin to, you know, use its, um, its excavation arm. And here we have the arm here that would be able to excavate dirt and stuff like that out of the ground um, to basically dig trenches or holes or whatever it may be needed. So it's a really cool vehicle and again one of those really common ones you're going to see on the construction site and that's kind of the goal is to get a lot of the common ones um, out there and maybe work into some more abstract ones later on. Uh, but yeah really cool backhoe here and it will fit perfectly with our front end loader that we did tutorial on a little while ago as well. So anyways though without further ado let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys so moving into our first layer here we'll be going ahead and start with layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with here we're going to place down a gray concrete block like so. A polished blackstone stair coming off of it and then one, two, three stairs over. And one, two, three trap doors in front of the stairs. Another gray concrete block and another polished blackstone stair right there to go ahead and create our front bucket. From this, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, birchwood upside down stair coming off these two stairs here and in that middle space. We're going to place down a dark oak trap door on the back of the stair like that. After we have that all done, we want to go ahead and then place down a polished blackstone upside down stair here and here. So the way this is going to work here is that it's going to come off of the um, block here. One, two. So two blocks back from the gray concrete and you're going to place your front wheels. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well, like that, and you have your wheels set up. After that, we're going to go ahead and skip back one, two blocks, then a dark oak with trap door. We then want to place down a polished blackstone upstone stair, a polished blackstone full block, and then another polished blackstone brick upstone stair on this side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, again, just the same exact thing. So like that. After that is all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and um, actually wrap up this layer. That's pretty much all we have there. Pretty straightforward and simple stuff. Actually, I think there is one thing on the back here. And we are going to go ahead and uh, basically go to the middle in between these stairs here for the wheels. We're going to place down a block and then a trap door coming off it. We can then delete that block for the time being, but it should look something like this here. Anyways, though, that is going to complete everything we have for layer one. Here is a top-down view of what it should look like. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to begin with, we're going to place down a row of three of upside down polished blackstone stairs on top of the row of three for the bucket up here in the front. We then want to place down a polished blackstone wall to both sides, and then a dark oak trap door coming off the back here of the walls, and also the back of the stairs. So it's going to look like this here on the back. In that middle space, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever like this, and then coming off the lever, we're going to place down a birchwood fence gate. So like this. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves birchwood stairs again and come off the sides of the fence gate. We're going to place down a birchwood stair like so. And then behind the fence gate itself, we're going to place down a, a deep sleet tile full block. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a polished blackstone or two polished blackstone stairs back to back on top of these stairs here to go ahead and make your front wheels. Now, once that's done behind this this block here, we're going to place down a yellow concrete block, and then grabbing yellow stained glass panes, we're going to place down a yellow stained glass pane on both sides of this block here, and then we want to place down a fence gate, 
It's going to go across this space like so. After that's done, we're going to place down another yellow concrete block in the center here, another yellow stained glass pane to both sides, and then a, another one and two yellow concrete blocks back down the center. Come out the sides of those, of those yellow concrete blocks, we're going to place down another brick walls to the side of these two blocks here. One other brick wall coming off the front one, and then around these two sides, we're going to place down dark oak signs, and same thing over here. We're going to go ahead and grab polished black stone, we're going to place down a polished black stone stair on that dark oak trap door to both sides. After that's done, we'll take our yellow concrete and we're going to place down a row three across, followed by a second row three and a third row like so. We'll then place down a yellow shulker box on its side, like this on top of that polished blackstone brick full block, and then we're going to place down a polished blackstone brick full block on both sides of that yellow shulker box, like so, for the wheels. And then if you're uh, for all versions here, we're going to go ahead and grab an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on this shulker box and then a yellow concrete block in the item frame. And same thing will be done over here on this side as well. After we have that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a yellow stained glass pane to both sides here. And then in that middle space on top of that trap door, we are going to go ahead and place down an anvil, which we're going to have face this direction like so. Uh, we then want to go and grab a birchwood trapdoor. I'm going to place down a birchwood trapdoor on the glass pane here to both sides. After that is done, we want to go ahead and then place down a sandstone wall going forward from this anvil. And we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves a birchwood upside down stair and place it down like so. After that, we have to build the bucket. So for the bucket, we're going to need some polished black stone stairs and slabs. We're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a slab coming off of this um, stair here. And then we're going to place down a polished blackstone stair sideways right here and same thing over here. On the back of these blocks, we're going to place down a row three of upside down polished blackstone stairs. And then a wither skeleton skull coming off the sides here of those two stairs going forward. We're also going to place down a birchwood sign on the side here of this sandstone wall like that. And after we have that all done, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number uh, two of the build. One quick thing I do want to go ahead and mention is the addition of the banners uh, for the wheels here. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to make these in the loom because they're really straightforward and I can really just explain them. Uh, but basically you're going to have two black banners. Uh, for each of these banners you're going to do one banner with a line of yellow vertically on the right side and a line vertically on the left side. Then for both banners all together once you have a yellow in place you're going to do a black line across the top and a black line across the bottom to create those banners like so. We're going to place them down on the sides of these stairs so that the yellow is facing toward uh, each other and it basically kind of helps create a nice more detailed look there for the rim of the vehicle. Um, anyways though, that is going to wrap up what we have for layer number three, or sorry, layer two of the build. Again, here is a top down view of what it looks like from up above. And with that, we'll be dropping into our next layer, which will be layer number. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For this layer to start with, we're going to place down a sandstone wall on top of this lever here. And then we want to go and place down gray carpet on the top of these three stairs. Once we have that done, we're going to place down an air polish or a neater deep slate tile full block going up from this. And then a lever coming off this block. Um, now this is going to be more of a Java thing, so if you're on Java, you'll place the lever. Um, if you're not on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and grabbing a skeleton skull and placing down a skeleton skull like this instead. However, if you're on Java and have access to the debug stick, debug stick can be obtained by typing the command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. Let's see here. At p, let me retype this, minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command right here, press and enter will give you this glowing stick. What you can do now is we can left click this lever till we get selected facing. Um, or selected face wall. We're going to right click this, set this face to floor, left click this again until we get selected facing, and then we can rotate it around until it flicks toward our sandstone wall. So just kind of a nice way there to do a little bit of detailing here for this mechanisms. After that though, we're going to go ahead and place down a sandstone wall to both sides of this block, and then we're going to take our yellow concrete and place down one, two, three blocks down the center here. Now once we have that all done there, we want to go ahead and grab our sandstone or sorry, just our birchwood stairs. We're going to place down a birchwood stair like this to both sides. And then a birchwood upside down stair like that. And then a yellow stained glass pane after those stairs. Um, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a black or row three of black stained glass blocks across this space here. And then a birchwood stair on top of the stair to both sides. And then a yellow carpet on top of the narrow brick walls. So it's going to create this design here so far. 
Also, we're gonna grab a birchwood sign and we're gonna be placing down a birchwood sign on the side here, or I should say the front of the stair, again on both sides. After we have that done, uh, we do wanna go ahead and grab some black concrete and we're gonna take our black concrete, we're gonna place down a row of three across, then a second row of three and then a third row. So you have three rows of three. We're gonna go ahead and place down our polished black stone brick blocks on top of the shulker boxes. And then we're gonna take our polished black stone brick stairs and place them on top of those full blocks to both sides there to go ahead and finish your wheel off. After that is all done, uh, on the back here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a sandstone wall on top of this birchwood trap door. And we then wanna go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames, some red beds, and some dark oak with signs. We're gonna place down an item frame on those two blocks there, a red bed, in those item frames, rotate them sideways, and they're going to look like this. And if you're on Java, you can also place down birch wood sign, or sorry, dark oak wood signs on the side of the blocks as well with the item frames. If you're not on Java, you will not be able to do that. After that, though, we're going to go ahead and then place down an air brick fence post on top of this wall right here. And then we're going to place down a yellow concrete block on top of the stair. We then want to take our polished blackstone stairs, and we're going to go ahead and place down an upside down stair facing this direction like so. An upside down corner stair. And then we're going to place down another stair that's going to be upside down and a corner stair as well. So it's going to look like that there for the bucket. After that, we want to go and then place down a birch with fence gate coming off the stair, open it up toward the stair like that. And that right there is going to complete everything we have for layer number three of the build. Just making sure I'm not missing anything and everything appears to be good to go. So here is again a top down view of what it should look like with this layer complete. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to our next layer, layer number Four. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start with, we're going to place down an Arabic fence post on top of this wall here. And then after that, we want to go and place down a dark oak wood trap door. And then a uh, daylight detector. After that daylight detector, we're going to go ahead and then place down a birch wood slab. Like so. And then uh, if you're on Java, we can place down a piston. If you're not on Java, I'd recommend an end portal frame. Uh, we can place down a piston here. And then again, if you're not on Java, an end portal frame will also work. And we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of that piston. Now on the left side over here on this stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. On the other side, the right side, we're going to place down an Arabic fence post on top of this stair here. So just make sure you pay close attention. That's like one of our only differences uh, between the two sides of the vehicle. After that, we want to go and then place down a narrow row of three of black stained glass blocks across, followed by a second row, a third row, and then we're going to place down a row of three of black stained glass panes across the back here. So you have three rows of full blocks and a row of three of panes. For the fenders over our wheels, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a daylight detector on top of the two stairs and a birchwood slab on that middle block. Same thing will be done over here on this side. And also, uh, we'll take a lever and we're going to place down a lever come off the side of this black um, stained glass block. We then want to go ahead and go to the back of the vehicle here. We're going to place down a birchwood stair on top of these two walls. One thing I did forget from the previous layer was that we do want to go ahead and place down an item frame on top of this anvil. And then we're going to place down a yellow concrete block in the item frame like so. Anyways, though, continuing on, we're going to place down a sandstone wall on top of this yellow concrete block. And then a yellow stingless pane on top of the narrow brick fence post. We're going to place down a sandstone wall on top of the middle upside down stair there. And then we're just going to place down an end rod that's going to go on top of this fence gate right here. And after that is all done, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number four. If you are on Java, we can go ahead and go to this piston real quick. Left click this till we get ex selected extended false pop up. We'll right click this and it says true and it will create this kind of sloped look there for the front. Again, you can substitute that out for an end portal frame as well. Just I prefer to look at the piston a little bit more than the end portal frame. Anyways, though, with that out of the way, let's move on to our next layer, layer number Five. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to begin with by going ahead and placing down an air brick fence post on top of this one. And just so we don't have to worry about it anymore, we can place down a flower pot on top of that as well to go ahead and complete our exhaust. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our nether brick stairs, or nether brick walls rather, and we're going to place down a row of three across the space here. Behind that, we're going to place down a row of three of black stained glass, a second row of three, and then a row of three of black stained glass panes across. Now, once you have that done on the sides here of these walls, um, you can either place down a Wither Skeleton Skull if you are not on Java. So for non-Java players, I'd place down a Wither Skeleton Skull. However, if you are on Java, I'm gonna go ahead and place down a lever. So for this, I'm gonna place down a block here on both sides and a lever, and we're gonna use our 
debug stick here to go ahead and left click till we get selected facing. We're going to rotate this around so it comes off the wall. Left click this thing again till we get selected powered. We'll set this to true and it should flick down like that and uh, work for the build. And you'll do that for both sides there like that. After that, uh, we then have a um, uh, our arm that we're going to continue working on. This is going to be a, a birch wood upside down stair on top of this wall. And then a yellow concrete block going forward from it. On both sides of the yellow concrete block, we're going to place down an item frame. In the item frame, we want to place down a polished and a side block. And then we're just going to place down a birch wood sign on both sides of the block as well if you are on Java. After that, on the back here, we're going to place down another um, birch wood upside down stair. And then a narrow brick wall coming off the back of the stair. So it's going to look something like it looks like that. Um, anyway, so after that is all done, uh, the last thing we have here for this layer is just a banner. It's a black banner with a gray stripe down the ver center vertically. Real simple. Again, not going to show you guys how to make it a loom because it's pretty straightforward. And this is going to go on this second row of three of black stained glass paint. So it's going to look like that there on both sides. Anyway, so that is going to complete everything we have there for layer five here. Again, it's a top down view of what it should look like. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our last final layers of the build. Moving into our next layer, we have layers 6 and 7. For layers 6 and 7, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take our polished blackstone slabs, place down a row 3 across those um, walls. And then we want to go ahead and place down an item frame on these two slabs, as well as a white bed sideways in those item frames, like so, and a dark oak wood sign on the side there of them. Um, just a little quick side note that the walls here, if you did place down the lever, um, they may break, so you may have to actually fix these. Um, it's pretty straightforward fix. You'll just do the same thing we did before, and I do apologize for um, that mistake there, but once you get that replaced, it will look like that on the sides there, and you should be good. Uh, we're going to then place down a, three more rows of three of polished blackstone going back. On the back here, we're going to do the same thing for lights, item frames on both sides, white beds in the item frames rotate sideways, and a dark liquid sign on the side there of the slabs for Java players. Now, lastly for our arm to go ahead and finish this off, we're gonna place down a uh, birchwood stair like this, and then a wither skeleton skull coming off the front of the stair. Behind the stair, we're gonna place down another birchwood upside down stair, and then this time we're gonna place down a birchwood sign on both sides of the stair. We then wanna place down a yellow concrete block, then another brick fence post, another yellow concrete block up, and then on the side here of this block, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. We then want to place down an item frame on both sides of this yellow concrete block, then a polished anisite block in the item frame, and a birchwood sign on the side of the block again if you're on Java. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a end rod and place down an end rod forward. If you're not on Java, I'd recommend placing down a, bird, a wither skeleton skull here. If you are on Java, we're going to go ahead and place down a block, a lever in the space, and we're going to use our debug stick here, selected face, we're going to set this to floor, and then change the facing so it aims toward that end rod. And it'll look something like that there. Anyway, so that is going to complete everything we have there for layers um, 6 through 7, and with that, that is going to complete my tutorial here for the Caterpillar 416. Backhoe. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do abuse this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This will be the link from a sign that build to my channel or this video if this does bring you social media insights. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free for a project you guys are working on. Um, other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary24, and I'll see you guys next time.